Shin 3 may be just as confused about his new primary rule as anyone else, but he sets about following it with an unmistakable fierceness. Unfortunately, the timing is terrible, as he needs to focus on his role as Shin now more than ever. But So Bong learns a terrible truth about the plans for his future, and she's forced to make a decision that could change everything, and might even separate them forever. Episode 15 Recap Nam Shin 3 tells us that his mom, Ro Ra, was the first human he ever saw, and his primary rule, to hug someone who's crying, was for her. But he replaced the number one rule for So Bong, to protect her at all costs. He wonders why the most important rule was suddenly changed. He thinks back on his interactions with So Bong and makes some deductions. First, he's become accustomed to her pattern of extreme actions. Second, his algorithm adapted when he became her slave. And third, their excessive skinship fostered a sense of closeness. Still, he can't quite understand what it is about So Bong that caused so much change. He thinks all this in the split second after pushing Yana to the ground, and So Bong recovers by telling him to help her back up. As a curious crowd gathers, So Bong growls for them to make it look like a lover's quarrel. In the car, So Bong suggests that Nam Shin 3 apologize to Yena for pushing her, but Yena snaps that she doesn't want an apology from a robot. In Nam Shin III's defense, So Bong points out that Yena kicked her first. She says that Yena needs Nam Shin 3 until Shin wakes up, so she shouldn't upset him or he'll quit helping them. In his car a short distance away, Snake watches the trio drive off and makes a phone call. When Chairman Nam shows up at the columbarium, Rora tries to leave, snarling to Young Hoon that she came to see him, not the old man. She stops at the sound of John Gill's voice coming from Chairman Nam's recording pen, saying that Chairman Nam isn't qualified to be in charge of PK Motors anymore and should be sent away for us to get a chance. Chairman Nam tells Ro Ra that her son isn't included in John Gill's us, and that they may hate each other, but they have a common enemy. He asks how it feels to see her son again, Ro Ra reminds him that he's the one who kept her son from her. Chairman Nam says that Shin is suddenly showing passion after years of apathy, like he's a different person since seeing her again. He attributes the change to her strong blood, but she tells him not to insult Young Woo, who wasn't as weak as his father thought. Chairman Nam asserts that Young Woo died because he was weak, and invites Ro Ra to join the company before Jong Gil takes what belongs to Shin. Soffing, Ro Ra asks if he's missed her after being betrayed by Jong Gil. Chairman Nam says that time changes people, but Ro Ra denies having changed, and she says she'll never do what he wants. Chairman Nam tells her not to get emotional, and he tasks Young Hoon with persuading her to accept his offer. He gets up to leave, and Ro Ra yells after him that he can't control her. She tells Young Hoon that Nam Shin 3 needs to be more careful with his behavior or Chairman Nam will uncover their plan, and Young Hoon says that luckily, Chairman Nam sees the changing Shin as a good thing for now. Nam Shin 3 still looks befuddled by his priority shift when they drop off Yena. So Bong asks why he came to her defense so aggressively, but he avoids answering. He keeps looking at her on the drive home, and she warns him that she won't let it go. Nam Shin 3 says he's not sure why he did it, but So Bong won't accept that answer, worried for her job. But she still thanks him, and apologizes for Yena saying he's not human as if being human is a big deal. Then she grins and says she's pretty cool, and Nam Shin 3 nods happily. He goes into Shin mode to answer a call from Chairman Nam, who calls him home immediately. Snake reports to Jong Gil that Shin seems closer to his bodyguard than to Yena, and he wonders if So Bong lied when she said she saw another Shin, then later retracted it. If she did lie, Snake thinks there might be another Nam Shin, but Jong Gil says there's no proof. Chairman Nam asks Nam Shin 3 if he wants the company, and Nam Shin 3 says he does if it protects his position. Chairman Nam wonders if that's his greed or someone else's, then mentions that Shin has changed since reuniting with his mother. He says he likes this new Shin better than the old one, but if the change wasn't his own will, he thinks that makes the new Shin a fake. Nam Shin 3 says simply that he's the Shin from the present, not the past, and that he made his own decision to change. Satisfied, Chairman Nam decides to start the process to have Shin succeed him, but he lies and says that Rora told him today to give the position to young.